Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guards. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in at center. And it's Porter in at the three slot. And for the 76ers, on the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. Now here is Harris. Here's Maxi. They grab their own miss, and the layup's good off the glass. You see that nasty streak that he possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's the pass to Jokic. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Six to shoot. Over Maxi. Shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but he can't foul. pass it up. Aaron and he can't Porter. knock it down. And Aaron Porter gets the whistle that time. First That's his first foul. foul. Pass to Harris. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. A tick attack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. We're about one minute into the first. And here is Murray. Here's Gordon. Rebounded by Tucker. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. He drills it from outside. defense and exploiting it. And Jokic slams it in. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Over to the left wing. And Tucker kicks to Harden. Philadelphia moving the ball around. The shot. No good. And Denver the other way now. And this is the first season matchup for them against the 76ers too. It's an East versus West first matchup first tonight. First meeting of first the year between these two. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game to watch. First one drops. And hey, what a career Caldwell Pope has had to this point. He's been such a great complimentary guard. He just takes care of the ball. He shoots well all over the floor. He's a three-point threat. He certainly accepts the responsibility and the challenge defensively. He's carved out a career, and it's going to get longer. Now here's Harden. 23 points his last outing. Here's Embiid. And foul yeah, on the shot, so he'll get a chance he at the line. Jokic. That's well, Greg, what can you say about foul. Joel Embiid's growth Second from a leadership foul. perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? At the line Tremendous for Carrying the Sixers Joel with everything Embiid. they went through. Even though he came That's in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. And he sinks the second. And such a young, exciting core for the Nuggets. The MVP, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. This group has a chance to be a contender for the years to come. No Jamal coverage Murray. that time. Assisted. And Nicola that makes it a tie ball Jokic. game. Well, a polished score and good recognition as Jamal Murray understood the timing that he needed to catch and fire. Taxi passes to Harden. Fires the three. Jokic grabs the miss. With Jokic, I mean, the potential, Greg, of this Denver team, they've got so much of it. But what is the key for them to actually reach it? 
Kevin simply help. I mean, they need Murray and MPJ to be out there. Those two have had major injury issues. Jokic is a generational talent, but the man needs help. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. No good with the wing jumper. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Harris kicks it to Tuck. It's rebounded by Jamal Murray. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you Seven can't make a ball, and you for sure you don't want him taking that kind of shot. His first Greg, first looking at the five. shooting numbers of Michael Second Porter Jr., five. they're off the charts. I mean, his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. Michael was top Porter 20 Jr. in field goal percentage, Two shots. top 10 in three-point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6'10 wing. One falls for him. And Michael Porter Jr., just one of those guys that has a versatile scoring menu. Terrific at executing at all three levels. And Porter drops them both. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. Now here is Harris. Turned in an outstanding game against Brooklyn. Murray against Harden. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That's his first personal That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Caldwell Pope outside. Is it to Gordon? And here is Murray. Knocks down the three ball. Paul Murray. Murray's three. got five now. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Now Porter, after the miss three from Tyrese Maxey. Michael Porter, Porter Jr. And the 76ers decide to take their Harden first time out here. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I see the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Trailing by five. Pass to Maxi. To the inside. Will it go? And Embiid finishes inside. He's got five. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor. But inside is where he can really utilize that size. Now, here's Porter. Inside, here's Murray. And he lays it straight in. He's and it's seven points for Aaron Jamal Murray. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Porter against Harris. To the middle. Here's Embiid. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his it's going to be on Jokic. Foul. And how about the poise foul. from Embiid? Gets fouled, but stays with the shot and able to get Joel that one in the air. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. 
I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It, it's simple, Kevin. Make it to the finals. The, the Nuggets have never been there. They've been close reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top two talent on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Two points, that one goes. P.J. Tucker, just one of those guys at his size that always looms larger on the floor. He is comfortable on the inside and finishing. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. All heart for Caldwell Pope there, using every ounce of strength to muscle that shot in. Harris inside. Who's there? They get the rebound. Harris, no good. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Jokic passes to Porter. And there's Michael another Porter one for the Nuggets. And Jokic, an elite passer Nicola for a guy in his position. Harden kicks it to Tucker. The pass to Harris. as he lets it fly. Here is the long-range jumper. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. Well, Tobias is nice. He's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade off. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. George Niang comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Manchin. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Green finds Jokic. Six on the shot clock. Highlands shot is good. The 76ers trail by five. Pass to Melton. Harden surveying the D, and there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. The 76ers get their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And so he hits the technical free throw. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? A three ball, another three for Philadelphia. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. Now, here's Melton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Passes to Embiid. Here's Niang on deep. Offensive rebound. And he makes good on the way. And the 76ers lead by one. Showcasing that overwhelming strip. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Here's Murray. Seven points in the game. Just five to shoot. Denver needs to get off the shot. Highland off target with his 
his three. And, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Gets it to go. That one good for Melton. Getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Pass to Highland. Shot to stop the run. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris looking it over. Right through the D for the layup. And now a 6.76ers lead. Bias there taking the contact. Still leaning with it. Scores it. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Why he came here. Let him hear it, Here they come. some moments from one Jamal Murray. I'm very excited about his return to his full capacity and what he's going to be capable of doing. That free throw, no good. One of the stars of the 2020 bubble playoffs, Jamal Murray. I mean, remember, he had a 50-point game and Murray averaged over 26 points, helped Denver make it to the Western Conference Finals. We saw Jamal take his game to another level in Orlando. Good on the second free throw. And Jamal Murray more and more has come into his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times. Now, here's Melton. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Down low. Embiid's shot is good. Embiid's got 10 points. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to 
extend the lead. Murray outside. Here's Highland, guarded by Hart. Here's Murray. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Now, there's a feeling sometimes, even at 6-3, when Murray gets to the interior, he plays a bit bigger. From T. Harden, rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds in this game. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Highland. Gets an open look and hits. And now it's a five-point 76ers lead. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. Here's Harden. And he uses the glass on the lane. He's got 11. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. James Harden getting it done for the Philadelphia 76ers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And we'll be back with you shortly. so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Well, one thing standing out right now is just how fearless everybody is in getting to the inside. They're taking advantage of any lane or angle they get to get after. On the floor for Denver, we get going here in the second quarter. They've got Green, and it's Brown in at the two. Here's Melton. Highland with the rebound. Nuggets trailed by seven to the paint, and down it goes. Zeke Dunn Najee. threw off a wonderful assist. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for Nuggets the Nuggets foul. Wrong. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The Nuggets pass to Thibault. Poked away. Shot clock at five. Here's Milton. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Brown dishes to Green. And there's the pass to Highland. Oh, to the foul. Almost hit the three-point bucket. Milton. And he'll go to the line That's to shoot three. Personal foul. Yeah, you hate foul. to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. The Nuggets have hit most of their the free throws Highland. tonight. Five of six. Three shots. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. First of three. Ren, as we all know, you were a former slam dunk contest champion. So with that in mind, what was your take on the 2022 contest? Well, I think there was some great dunkers out there, Kevin, and every year it's like that. I know from year to year it takes a lot of criticism to the contest, and uh, certainly there are years that are better than others, but the skill of those guys on the floor for them to go out and put on an exhibition, always appreciated as a fan. And he makes all three. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Milton finds Heibel. Now here's Harold. Tight defense on him. Got a piece of it. 
Brown on top. Uses the glass to finish the way. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. That was the 2K drop. Because that move deserved another look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press the looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Pass to Highland on loads. That shot, no good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. And that's the third of four straight played at home. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Four-point game. Driving inside. Highland misses. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Here's Niang. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Harrell. Off target with the jump hook. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Crown wide open. He fires. The Nuggets with another miss. Pass to Milton. Inside. Two free throws Wrong coming up, foul. and they call the shooting foul. Wrong. That's his really second. Really out of the right play foul. defensively. Second if you can't foul. block, force him to the line. The line it's his first trip to the line. Up. George Niang. At the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. And the 76ers making a change here. Maxi's checked in. So he gets them both. The Nuggets trail by six. Highland passes to Brown. Here's Highland. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Maxi. He's got seven. The Nuggets with another miss. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find her. It's always a surefire way to get back in the game. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Count it wrong. I don't know if you would consider this, but he's got such a nice touch around the rim. Maybe you foul him there? to the wing right side. Niang kicks to Milton. Pass to Maxi. It's deflected. Brown against Maxi. Braun puts it up from 12. Maxi grabs the miss. The 76ers leading by six. Down low. And Harold, the bucket on the assist by Maxi. Uh, he gets really excited about finishing through contact. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The pass to Highland. Lets it go from deep. Hangs on the trifecta. Highland. Highland's got 10 points in the game. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Pass to Thibel. Shoots a three. Hits the three-point bomb. And the 76ers lead by eight. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver returns possession. 
Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Tobias Harris comes in for George Nian. Here's Highland. He's got 10. Naji, no good. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy who you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. That's his first. Yeah, another turnover there, but guys, overall, they've taken really good care of the basketball. In for the Nuggets, Aaron Gordon, Jamal Murray. Denver with the ball. Brown outside. Murray outside. Over Milton. The Nuggets with another miss. And they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Up and in on the way. Up to 10 now for Philadelphia. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Murray outside. Back to Brown. Outside three. Pulled loose. And stolen by Feibel. Harris with it. Now Green defending. Here's Feibel. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, Aaron but he's Gordon. got the chance to pick up That's the points at the line. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. Foul. An NBA all-defense for two the years running. But Jess Feibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he two set foot in the NBA. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And Greg, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year, averaging three and a half steals in over two blocks a game. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season, good for second best in the league. DeAnthony Melton, he's jacked in for the 76ers. James Harden comes in for Shake Milton. And Murray's got the ball here for the Nuggets. They trail by 11. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Brown finds Murray. Pocket six. This is a Tanaji. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Tanaji's got five points now in the quarter. The 76ers leading by eight. Pass to Harris. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Murray's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Some solid defense from Harris. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Feibel, the pass to Embiid. That one will not drop. It's his first miss. He's four for five. Looking around. Here's Brown. And the basket is good. He's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's his Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. George Niang, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Here's Hart. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. And on the offensive end, Harden can be such a monster. So far, he's had little trouble finding his shots. Here's Najee. He has five. The shot. Murray, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And it's Harris off the drive. Rebound by the Nuggets. Brown outside. Now the pass to Caldwell Pope. Gordon with it. Shoots. The rebound by Niang. Beat inside. 
is guarded by Caldwell Pope from past the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. And this really is the story of the game. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Brown. Denver passing it around. Kachi passes to Caldwell Pope. No good from 11 feet. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And he comes up with the deuce. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Back to Brown. Off the run. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And this will be his second and third shots to the line here. Yeah, 76% from the line a season ago. Two most shots. would consider that to be a success. And Brown drops them both. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Melton passes to Embiid. Back to Melton. Fires from deep. That's good. And it's Embiid with the assist. Melton's got the lead up to 13 now for the 76ers. Murray, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Najee. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Passes it to Niang. to the inside, Harris, and it's Denver with the rebound. No other way to put it, just a poor shooting performance for him, but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. That'll be his second foul of the game. It's his second, it's his second foul. foul, but not the Third end of the world. Foul. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. The Nuggets trailed by eight. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Murray, the pass to Najee. To Murray. The offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. There's 14 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Harden. Another miss by Philadelphia. Caldwell Pope outside. Again, the Nuggets score. Caldwell Pope. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? 76ers Here's lead by four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny, and a James Harden led the way in the first half. He ended up with 15 points and two rebounds. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possessions. And check this out. Sometimes, just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball game. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. They've got to be more assertive on the glass. Getting out hustled. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. based on how close of a game it's been so far. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. 
Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Packs you out there with Hart. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. And it's Maxie with the ball for the 76ers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And there's the call. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. That's his fourth foul That's of the contest. Fourth personal foul. The Nuggets trail by four. Najee passes to Caldwell Pope. Here's Najee. I'm deep. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Denver and foul. contact on the shot, Big so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his Jay first Tucker again, man. That is one strong first dude. For Philadelphia, they have shot the ball pretty well from and the line, line going 8 of 11. Philadelphia, P.J. Tucker at the line for two. Now it's the first free throw is good. P.J. Tucker, one of those guys that we talk about as a journeyman throughout his NBA career, but there's no doubt that he's made positive impact and touches wherever it is that he's played. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Denver. The Nuggets trail by six. Outside, Porter. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. Good ball booming here by the Nuggets. Plenty of daylight on that Michael shot. Porter Jr. Porter's got nine. Four three. I feel like there's nowhere on the floor where you can really get away from Michael Porter Jr. Three ball goes that time. And the pass to Harris. Porter with the steal. A pass to Gordon. And it's Gordon. Gordon finishing it off. This from That's a Michael stomach Porter punch, Jr. guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Harden, no good. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. And one more look at that fantastic mobile one drive. They had a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. Caldwell Pro passes it to Jokic. Gets the bucket and the foul. Joel and one on MB. That's well, you have to think if Jokic foul. is that good a passer, his mind is always working. Why not work it to get contact Nikola like that? Jokic. And Jokic signing a At huge extension four. this offseason. Largest contract at the time it was signed. You, you knew it was coming as he just means so much to the franchise. And that's the cost for a back-to-back -back MVP. Basket counts. He's got 17. And that's a nice play. Hart sure knows how to use that body and loop inside. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. To the paint. Gordon with the defensive effort. The Nuggets trail. At the elbow. Jokic. Caldwell Pope outside. Over Maxi. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Caldwell Pope's got 11 points. And we're seeing a little more of this from KCP. Working that in between area, trying to improve his efficiency. Timeout called the 76ers. Defended by Gordon. Up 
top, Tucker. Just five on the clock. Martin, no good. Denver's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Now here's Murray. A miss that time would have put him up. The 76ers have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Pass to Harden. Floats one up. The shot, no good. Nuggets have gone four of nine from the four so far in the third. So they take Nikola the lead, Jokic. and it's seven points for Jokic. I don't know if you knock Jokic off balance so much. You're just hoping that he misses something like that. Murray again, Tartan. Let's go. In for his seventh bank in 14 tries. Man, obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over. Yeah, the coach really smart at zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. The Nuggets making a switch here. Highland's checked in. Here's Highland. He's got 10. Dishes it to Gordon. Murray, the pass to Highland. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Shoots over Tucker. Highland sinks the three-pointer. Highland. Highland's got 13. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. With three, Harris. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic just got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Highland. That one's rebounded by MB. Pushing it up. Harris with it. Now defended by Jokic. Harris passes to MB. And MB throws it down. And that interior presence of MB. Guys that hey, shouldn't be able to move like that. Pass to Porter. Here's Highland. Back to Porter over Harris. Porter, no luck. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Alice position, you could see the frustration on his face. For the lead, Embiid kicks it to Tucker. Left side, Harris. Fade away. Good work there as it goes. He has six. Well, this is a, a strength of Tobias Harris finding good rhythm now in the mid-range shot. Here's the pass to Gordon. Misses the three. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to Harden. Back to Harris. Kicks to Harden from 11 feet away. And it's sent back by Jokic. And Jokic with good timing over there. If he can do it offensively, why not on the D? Gordon, the pass to Highland. It's over Tucker. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Maxie looking it over. That's the three fly. And they recover it. On the wing, Harris. Charted by Porter. And the call will be against Harris. That's his third foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibel checked in for Tobias Harris. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxie. Green is checked in for Denver. Bruce Brown comes in for Michael Porter. And some changes here for the 76ers. Andres Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Taking in comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good. Jokic. Well, there's so much about Nikola Jokic that is special um, for a five-man. It doesn't really matter any position, but his ability to crank out those triple doubles might just take the cake. 
both good from the line that time. Jokic does produce triple doubles at a near record rate. So in his 500th game, Jokic got his 71st triple double. Only Oscar Robinson and Magic Johnson recorded more triple doubles in their first 500 games. Think about that. As a center, he was doing that. Just truly unstoppable at times. Philadelphia's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Melton against Murray. Pulls up. High post. Buries the jump shot. He's got six. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would the come Sean down to the island. Well, he just three nailed point. his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Passes it to Melton. Beyond the arc, traps in the tray. He's got nine. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Now, here's Seven, Milton. Six, six, Defense right on him. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Personal foul. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Here's Highland. He's got 16. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Rebound by the 76ers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. That's the Melton. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Jokic passes to Highland. The pass to Jokic. Outside for Murray. The Nuggets with another miss. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Two minutes for me. They lead it by one. Two minutes. There's the triple. No good. Shot missing. And it's Denver the other way. Jokic passes to Bryant. Now here's Murray. He's got 10. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his second. That's foul number two for him. Third team. He's checked in for Jamal Murray. Into the lineup for the Nuggets. Contavious Caldwell Pope. for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Philadelphia has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. And there's the foul. Bruce It'll Brown. go on Bruce Brown. That's his first personal foul. That's his first foul. Second team And really, foul. these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Here's Milton. He's got six. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Awesome defense. Just outstanding effort to reach his big hands in there and just rip the ball away. Oh, good anticipation. KCP reads the play, makes the steal, then quickly gets them out in transition. Here's Milton. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Denver's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Outside, Green. Pass to Jokic. Five on the clock. Caldwell Pope outside. 
that's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Now it's a four-point nugget lead. And the three-pointer, a big part of KCP's game, about half his shots come from out there. Feibel finds Milton. Milton with the ball. He's got time. Yes, that goes in. And that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. The 76ers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Here's Highland. Makes it off the glass. Highland's got 18 points. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Melton. And the last second attempt the end doesn't fall. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Nuggets ahead. They lead by three. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Gordon steps in at the fourth with Jokic in at center. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guard. And it's Brown in at the small four. Good on the shot, and with that, the Nugget lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Maxi. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. Shoots from the high post. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot. Foul. Even with little or no defense on you. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. And, and what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach Irene for the Nuggets? Matthew. And guys, how about the unselfishness? And all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. And he makes the first. Maxi hits them both. The Nuggets trail. Now Murray. Brown outside. No good with the layup. Philadelphia shooting at 46%, making some buckets. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Bruce Brown. Maybe his second the best foul. ever at earning free second throws. I mean, Harden has mastered the art of contact and still and being able to get off the shot. James and Harden. some stats here, guys. Two the scoring shot. breakdown for Philadelphia. Their fast break plays have seemed unstoppable. They just keep finding ways to overrun the defense here in transition. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Harden hits them both. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Murray, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Murray. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Oh, what an impressive triple drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. Here's Harris. Oh, look, they batted on the glass but couldn't knock it down. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive. Foul. James Harden. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. He throw good. Murray. For Denver. Jamal Murray. Two shots.
He hits both from the stripe. And so Harden will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a one-point game. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And it's Brown missing. And the pressure he put on that shot forced him to Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Jokic kicks to Murray. Brown dishes to Gordon. Down low. And it's Murray. That time oh, Murray. assist by Gordon. Good job reading the floor. Aaron Gordon solid at sensing when someone's open. The 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Passes to Maxi. Here's Niang. Kick it is good. And the 76ers lead by two. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. You gotta like what Harden has done in this game so far. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. Maxi passes to Harden. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Bounce pass, Maxi. Harden against Gordon. Over Gordon. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his fifth rebound in this one. Harris against Brown. Back to Murray. A three. Rebound by the 76ers. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Uh, let's see. Nico Tucker having to use every bit of his strength on the inside football. to get through the contact. Third team foul. And the first and one at the line is good. Sixers, PJ Tucker at the line for two. All three throws good from Tucker. The Nuggets trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They get it again. Outside for Caldwell Pope. The Nuggets with another miss. For Philadelphia, they've gone three seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Harden the pass to Tucker. Back to Harden. For the three. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. And the rejection by Harden. Right wing deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Reed is checked in for George Nia. And a switcher also for Denver. Porter's checked in. Here's Tucker. Pass to Harden. Jacks up a three. Trill for the three-pointer. Harden's got five points now in the quarter. They're great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Harden against Murray. Back to Porter. Shot clock at six. Trying to end the drought. That's good, and the 76ers' Murray. lead is cut down Three. now to just four in the basket for Murray. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. And that one's good, Maxi. Yeah, he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. Murray kicks to Porter. the pass to Jokic. There's 
the feed to Gordon. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first. One thing about Aaron Gordon that stands out is his insane athleticism. He's capable of some incredible dunks. And because he attacks that rim with such ferocity, it makes it special to see him go to the rim. And the 76ers making a change here. Hounds is checked in. And Tucker gets that one to go. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing here by eight. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And it's off from three-point range. We've seen Gordon compete, Brent, in the dunk contest, like you. And there are some who would say he should have won. What about you? Yeah, you can make a strong case that he was robbed, and Aaron actually does. But we see that under the legs, leaping over the mascot dunk on so many highlight reels. Just a special athlete, and what a special contest that was. Caldwell Pope outside. Murray against Harden. Back to Caldwell Pope. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Caldwell Pope's got nine points now in just the second half. Out to the wing. And Tucker kicks to Harden. Pass to Maxi. Pass to House. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Side off the mark. The Nuggets trail by nine. Jokic passes to Caldwell Pope. And a wide open look for Porter. That's in. Coming Porter off the assist Jr. from Jokic. Jokic has got five assists in the game. Philadelphia with the ball. the pass to Harris. He kicks to House. Good defense by Jokic. Denver's got a disappointing 2 of 6 on 3 point attempts here in the fourth. Count it. And Aaron Philadelphia Gordon. lead has been cut Assisted. down to 4 on the bucket Nicola from Gordon. Jokic. Aaron Gordon is one springy dude. When he gets the ball down low, it's hard to stop him. Pass to Tucker. Side. And it looks like the Illuminati is set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Harold, he's checked in for Daniel House. Jokic passes to Caldwell Pope. His three pointers off the mark. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Passes it to Harden, and here is Harris. Good on the three-point shot. And the 76ers lead by seven. This speaks to how confident Tobias Harris is in his offensive game, ready to shoot as soon as that ball reaches him. Pass to Jokic. Bob pass to Gordon. And oh boy, a little contact there, but he gets the call, and he'll shoot two. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Nuggets, Michael and he makes the first. Jr. Taking two shots. And Porter drops them both. The 76ers leading by five. Harden kicks it to Tucker. To the inside, Hero. And Hero slams it in. This is what happens when you put the hard work in as Harold is impacting the game. Harden against Murray. Here's Jokic. That's in there. Nicola Murray with Jokic. the assist. Jokic has got nine points now in just the second half. To the right side. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. The pass to Harden. to shoot. It's up a three. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And it's out of bounds Nugget for the Nuggets ball. as Denver retains possession. George Niang is checked in for Philadelphia. George Niang. Yeah. 
136 left here in the fourth quarter. Murray, good. Come on, Murray. How about Murray stepping Three up, points. poised for this young player? And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. The lead is two. Softly pumps in the fourth. Harden's got 29. And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. That is Porter stepping up wants to take that shot. At the line for the Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr. Shooting one. He throw good. Porter getting it done at the line as he usually does. And that could be huge in a tight game like this one. Harden against Murray. Sweet little floater. Harden's got 31. One of the best closers in our game. James Harden coming up big. Murray the pass to Jokic. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Murray against Harden. Over Murray. Harden, no good. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away and put the D all over, but that is a difficult shot to see. It's good! Yeah, this game is not over when Jamal Murray is still able to play. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trailed by one. 23 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Is what's your take? Yeah, I'm always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. Sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Jamal Murray. And he's up over 50% from the field here tonight. And that speaks to how solid his shot selection has been. Nothing forced and really no bad decisions. Just good and smart. That's his second basketball. personal foul. And you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. Now, I'm not sure Jokic is actually as calm as he looks right now, but he doesn't seem shaken by the pressure. So against them both, it's a three-point game. And the perfect time to be perfect at the line. Only a three can tie it now. And Philadelphia comes time here. They're down by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's time to get up. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Good! And Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a great shooter. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Team is already in the penalty. Shooting for Denver, Jamal Murray at the line for two. free throw is good and that will put them up by two these are the moments that gets murray going he knows how to come up big when it matters the second one is good and both at the line and it's a three-point game a three and nothing but a three will do here now this is all from the perimeter and outside the arc here they need to stop seven. the clock so there's a foul that's his first personal foul Shooting for Denver, Nikola Jokic, taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And Jokic just has that presence out there. Never looks like he's feeling any kind of pressure. Just that calm demeanor really helps him in these clutch kind of moments. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. 
So it's the Nuggets taking the W in a close one. That's the end this of the was game. a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really Thank had to you. work Once for this win. Everyone who's made it out here we tonight. Teams might have you had a great time. The end with Please the crowd sure and uh, get everyone in the safe. building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said.